Monsters in the Sky. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albert, director of the Kika Silva Plow Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. It's almost Halloween, so Dean and I thought we'd share our favorite monsters in the sky. These are the stars and constellations that struck terror in the hearts of our ancestors. And they include a dragon, a sea monster, and a woman with snakes for hair. And finally, we'll show you the star cluster that signaled the Day of the Dead. Let's show you. We have our skies set for October 31st, facing north at 8.30 p.m. We're going dragon hunting and looking for Draco the Dragon. There's our guide star halfway up in the north, Polaris, a.k.a. the North Star. It's not terribly bright, but you should be able to spy it from most locations. The dragon's sinuous body is nearby. But the dragon's head holds the brightest stars in this monster constellation. Look for three stars in a neat triangle, and if you're in a darker sky, you might be able to make out a fourth star, making it a real blockhead. Uh -huh. Careful, James, don't upset the dragon. <laughs> uh, the ancient Babylonians referred to Draco as the she-dragon Tiamat, who terrorized creation. She's said to have had a body seven miles long and a mouth as big as the sky. Along came a god named Marduk, who slew the great beast. Marduk then sliced the dragon in half one half becoming the Earth and the other the heavens above. Let's look halfway up in the northeastern sky now for the constellation Perseus. He's a toughie to find since the stars don't look like an armor-clad hero with winged sandals. With a lot of imagination, we can see Perseus holding something in his outstretched arms. To the ancient Greeks, it was the star Algol, a.k.a. the winking eye of Medusa. She's the gorgon with snakes for hair. But other cultures had some very frightening names for this star, like the Spectre's Head, Ghost's Head, Satan's Head, the Double Eye, and my personal favorite, Piled Up Corpses. Why such scary names? Algol is no ordinary star. It's a special type of star called an eclipsing variable. Algol is really two stars that orbit each other. When the bigger, dimmer star blocked the light of the smaller, brighter star, well, the ancients noticed. During these eclipses, Algol dims like clockwork every 2.87 days. So, see if you can see the winking eye of Medusa this month. It won't turn you to stone. Perseus is using Medusa's head to save Princess Andromeda from a briny behemoth, the sea monster Cetus. Look farther to the southeast and maybe you can make out the sea monster. His outline looks more like a recliner chair. Nevertheless, this was Poseidon's vicious pet sea monster who we see turned to stone by Medusa's, Medusa's head. head. Algol strikes again. Many cultures selected November 1st as a special day to honor their dearly departed. It marks a halfway point between fall and winter. Plus, the coolest star cluster does something special that night at, at midnight. midnight. The Seven Sisters, or Pleiades, are an open cluster of stars visible in the east. At first glance, they looked like a little cloud, but upon closer examination, you may be able to make out the individual stars in the cluster. A sharp-eyed first grader told me they look like a dinky dipper. This dinky dipper features heavily in all Hallow's Eve celebrations around the globe, when they are at their highest at midnight. Maya, Aztecs, Peruvians, Japanese, and Hindus all had festivals for the dead near November 1st, in honor of the Seven Sisters. As the night rolls on, the Pleiades rise higher and higher in the sky, and at local midnight, they reach their highest point. In fact, from the Yucatan Peninsula, the Seven Sisters would be straight overhead. The Great Mayan Pyramids would point directly at the cluster. So, look for Draco the Dragon in the northern sky, Medusa's head, Algol in the northeast, Cetus the Sea Monster in the southeast, and if you dare, stay up until midnight to see the Seven Sisters ride across a spooky sky. Have a happy Halloween and keep looking up your